When I was in primary school, there's memories I have of not wanting to wear shorts and feeling so envious of the other boys in my class when they wore shorts and just a t-shirt. Because I used to always, even in the summer, wear long pants. And in high school, they'd say to me, why are you wearing long pants? It's really hot. Well, the thing is, I was covering up the massive 50 cent sized wounds. In Australia, 50 cents is about the size of an avocado seed. And it just covered my legs. And so I didn't want them to see that. It was unsightly, it was weeping. Usually, my eczema would be sticking to my pants. And so when I take off my pants, when I get home, usually the skin would be stuck to the clothes and I'd have to reopen the wound. So I'd have to reopen it and it would bleed again and weep. It was very uncomfortable. Like it stuck to you and you would walk around feeling it stuck to you. Like walking around and you've wet yourself and the clothes are just stuck to your skin. It just felt awful, but it was part of life. I just smiled and pretended that that wasn't happening. And yeah, I pretended everything was fine, but that was what I grew up going through. You could see the physical manifestation of the eczema on my fingers. Usually even in primary school, I remember I was sitting in class and my finger was just weeping and I was about eight years old. So even back then I was just raw, bleeding and weeping, something like out of Freddy Krueger. And the kids would look at it and say, yuck, what's that? And I'd have to explain it's eczema. I remember this one time I was playing with these, my friends in uh, this place called Heights Park and uh, the older kids in grade six, they weren't picking on me, but they just went up to me and says, what's wrong with your face? And it was just covered in eczema. And uh, I remember that and make, it made me feel different. It made me feel like, yeah, there was something wrong with me. And uh, it's not a good feeling, but um, I do believe that trauma, sadness, hardship makes you into a more humble person, makes you into a more compassionate person, makes you into a more understanding and patient person. It made me much more mature very quickly. Hardship is what makes you grow. Right now, I've gone cold turkey with all medications. So in terms of my face, you can see up close, there's still dots coming up. This is because I've used Allodel cream for 20 years. Allodel suppresses the natural function of the body releasing its toxins. And so now that I've stopped using Allodel, you can see that it's all come up. So there's going to be a period of time where it's going to get worse before it gets better. And, uh, but I feel good to say that I'm completely cold turkey on all medicines. I don't take any medicines now, not in the form of oral tablets, not in the form of creams. It's just pure meat going in and that's it. All yesterday, actually, I fasted for 24 hours. And then today, just meat. So the previous night on Saturday, I, I had a meal at about nine. And then I didn't eat all day yesterday until nine again. And all last night I was working out and frustrated and my skin felt like it was on fire and there's ants crawling all over it. So that's why I'm still positive, but I'm a bit tired and not as exuberant as I usually am.